So, when people find out that I'm not from Argentina, I'm from the United States, now I'm here like on vacation, one of the things they always ask me is, where are you staying? And uh, I tell them where I'm staying, and I'm staying in Wilde. And the first thing they always ask is, why are you staying in Wilde? And it's an interesting question, uh, because it's not really one of the like most well-known touristy neighborhoods where most tourists would normally stay. Um, it's actually not even in the city. It's in the province of Buenos Aires, so it's outside the city. And every day when we go in to Plaza Constitución, we take the train here in, in Wilde. And uh, I just wanted to flip, let me flip the camera around here so you can see, because right now I'm walking down the main street in Wilde. And, um, and the reason I, I, people always give me that reaction of like, whoa, why are you staying there? Is like I said, it's not really one of the main touristy areas. Most of the people, tourists, if they come here, they'll stay in Recoleta, or they'll stay in Palermo, or a neighborhood like that. And we've been to some of those neighborhoods, and they're nice neighborhoods. Like, I enjoy them, but uh, just wasn't what I wanted when I wanted to stay here. One of the reasons, mainly, is because those neighborhoods are expensive, and uh, for the amount that I paid to stay one month here in Wilde would probably cost like twice or even three times as much to stay uh, in one of those neighborhoods. But also, when I do go to those neighborhoods, I notice a lot of people there are, are, are tourists and they're all just speaking English. And a lot of the people that like work in the stores in those neighborhoods and the restaurants and cafes and stuff like that, they speak English too. Uh, because they're working in a place where there's a lot of tourists a lot of English-speaking tourists uh, who maybe don't speak Spanish so well. And one of the things I wanted was I wanted to stay in a neighborhood where, like, nobody was speaking English, and it would force me to speak Spanish. Um, actually, right now, walking along the street, speaking English, it feels a little weird because I definitely do not do this um, at all when I'm walking in this neighborhood. Uh, but I wanted to sort of show off the neighborhood a little bit because I'm only going to be here for a couple more days and then I'm leaving and we're going on to our next city to Cordoba Capital but before I left I wanted to show off Wilde a little bit because um, as much as it seems like it's not the kind of neighborhood you'd want to go to because it's not like touristy and it's kind of a little ways outside of the city um, I like it I like it a lot honestly and uh, I met a good amount of people here, just in passing, you know, people who work in the stores and restaurants and whatnot. And they've all been really, really nice to me. Like uh, this place right here that we're going past, Negrita Resto, La Negrita. I've been in there a couple of times. The people are really nice to me. And, uh, and you know, they, some of them, like, they, they'll help me out with stuff if I have questions about things. People around here are always really nice, help me out answering questions. And the other thing I really like about it is, like I said, there's no tourists out here. And even though I am a tourist, I'm kind of like a self-hating tourist. Because <laughs> I just don't want to be in the neighborhood with a bunch of tourists. I, I kind of wanted to stay in a place where, um, where everybody who's walking around on the streets it's just like, you know, it's a normal neighborhood and they're just going about their daily life, right? Doing their thing, going to the shops, going to work, that kind of thing. And I don't know, I feel like you get a more real experience of what it's like to live in the country if you're in a neighborhood like this and you're not in one of the really touristy neighborhoods. So that's, I guess, the reason why I decided, um, I decided to to be in Wilde instead of somewhere else. And I guess one of the other reasons is um, I kind of like being able to, you know, even though it is, it takes a little bit longer every day to walk over to the train station, get on the train, and, uh, and come all the way down, like into the city, the city proper. I, I kind of like that. It gives me, um, it, it makes it, it makes it so that like I have to really plan ahead what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna do for the day, which keeps me focused, 
which is good. Um, I can't just sort of like, you know, improvise, shoot from the hip. I feel like if I was staying in one of those neighborhoods that was like right in the city, Palermo, something like that, I'd be uh, less focused specifically because it's not a big trip or a big, uh, you know, to do to try and get to certain parts of the city. You're already there on the soup day. You just sort of hop on and head in whatever direction you want. And there's, uh, there's something to be said about that that's good if that's what you're looking for when you come to Buenos Aires and you want to be able to just sort of like be right in the center of it and hop on the, the soup day and just head to whatever neighborhood you want without a lot of hassle, then definitely those neighborhoods are for you. But for me, I don't know. I just really liked um, after going into the city and after having, um, you know, an adventure in the city, seeing whatever it was I was going to see that day, to be able to hop on the train, get out of the city, come back out here where it's a little more chill, right? Like tranquilo. It's kind of quieter. Um, and and I, I felt like being able to live, even for just a month, outside of the city, felt a lot more um, a lot more relaxed. And I don't know, it, it, it sort of uh, the the city. As much as I enjoy it, it's pretty chaotic a lot of the time. Even in some of those neighborhoods like Palermo and Recoleta, which are not like incredibly chaotic neighborhoods, not like, you know, right, uh, right in the city center. They're still kind of quiet, but there's, there's sort of a lot going on there, especially like late at night too. And I'm honestly not that much of a nightlife person. I kind of like to chill, um, you know, be at home at night, I'm sort of a homebody. And so a neighborhood like this was really perfect. And the other thing I like about this neighborhood is there's a train, you know, we just got off the train, head down this main strip right here. Um, and you can take the train, but also there's a bunch of bus lines that run through, um, through here because this street and, you know, a couple blocks up, there's like a major intersection where, I don't know, probably like, five, six, ten different bus lines all meet up. So there are a lot of different buses that go to a lot of different parts of the city. And in fact, like some of the places we've gone, like when we went to um, uh, Casa de Dios, when we went there, and like when we went to the King Fahd um, the mosque, those, we just hopped on a bus and it took us like right from here all the way there. Even sometimes the bus ride is long, you know? Hour, hour and a half on the bus. Still takes you right where you need to go, um, which is really nice. And you don't have to always take the train and go through all the, you know, Plaza Constitucion, transfer, transfer the soup tay, transfer lines. That's great, and being able to do that is it's nice and convenient. And the trains run pretty often through here. But it's nice to have the option to take uh, take a bus if you need to take a bus and you don't want to like go through all the you know going through all the different train stations because that can be kind of like confusing too sometimes when you have to transfer a bunch of times between a bunch of different train lines. So the other thing that was good is taking the bus. You actually get to see um, a lot of the city because the buses, of course. They drive on the streets and uh, they stop a lot of different places and they go past a lot of like major landmarks. And uh, so being able to see like a lot of different parts of the city and a lot of different parts of the province, you know, out here outside the city was really nice. And uh, I don't know, it seems weird to like, as a tourist to recommend if you come here, you should ride the public buses. But I mean, honestly, you should because it gives you like a, a good, um, I don't know, a good view of the city that um, you probably wouldn't get from a taxi, specifically because you're sitting up so high on a bus um, 
and you can you can just see everything so um, really nice also really cheap um, the buses just like the soup they here are uh, subsidized So they're real cheap. And if you're gonna take taxis everywhere, or Remy services, car services, you're gonna be spending a lot of money. So if your goal, like mine was, to, um, to like have a good vacation here in Argentina, but also like not spend a lot of money, then <laughs> public transportation is the way to go. And also, staying in a neighborhood kind of like this, out in Wilde, a little bit further away from the center of the city, um, will also save you like a, a good amount of money. And uh, like I said, you know, I met a good number of people here while I've been here for about a month. Everybody's been really chill. People have been really nice to me. They're always asking me, you know, like, where are you from? And uh, helping me out. Um, you know, even though like I, I speak Spanish okay. And a lot of the people I met here don't really speak English, but they're sort of willing to keep trying with me, you know, like when I don't understand, which happens often. Um, they're, they're willing to like, I don't know, they have patience with me, which is good. And it's not that the people in like other neighborhoods in the city wouldn't, but I kind of get the feeling that people out here, because they don't see a lot of tourists out here in this neighborhood, they're willing to have like more patience um, with me when I don't understand what's going on. And uh, I think if you are someone who maybe like lives in a neighborhood where there are a lot of tourists, you work in a neighborhood where there are a lot of tourists, I don't know. I feel like if it were me, I'd get sick of tourists. And I don't ever want to be a person who like People are looking at him and being like, oh shit, this guy, this, this effing guy, right? Like, I don't want to be that guy. Oh, well, anyway, right here at this intersection, just so you can see, this is the intersection of Mitre and Flores, and that's the street where we came up, right there, and along this street, the uh, avenue here, there's a bunch of uh, other shops up and down this street as well, like probably for like four or five blocks in each direction. And then if you keep going down this street, more shops down this way too. And so, one of the things, and this is, this is something that I think would probably be common in pretty much every neighborhood in Buenos Aires, but it definitely, definitely is the case here in Wilde that I really liked was, I mean, there's everything, absolutely everything I possibly need is within walking distance. So, like, on that block that we just walked down, there are uh, like fruit and vegetable markets, there are uh, butcher shops, there are pharmacies, there are little kiosks like this that have just, you know, like you can get a bottle of water, a pack of gum or something like that. But not just that, barber shops, remise services, um, hardware stores. I had to buy like some stuff at a hardware store to uh, basically to like tighten the screws on this chair that was in the apartment because it was a little loose and I had to buy a tool for that and all that stuff's right here um, bakeries panaderia and uh, confiterias like cake you know stores that make sweets and stuff like that they're all over the place ice cream shops um, like what else I mean everything uh, restaurants bars cafes everything all along these blocks and all within like I don't know two two blocks three block walk so I can get everything I need don't have to have a car definitely don't have to have a car and that's actually been really really nice you know I've had like uh, my whole uh, pretty much pretty much my whole life I've had either a car or access to a car and you know, in the United States, in a lot of places, 
you you just need that. Like you can't you can't get by without it. And I think in some cities in the U.S., if you're lucky enough, especially like the older cities, cities that are like um, cities that were mainly built um, back in the time before uh, automobiles. So like Chicago, Boston, San Francisco, cities like that, like they have a lot of um, great public transportation and the cities are small enough that you don't really need a car to get around. And a lot of times I find in cities like that, a car is almost a hassle. And I think it's the kind of the same thing here. Like if I had a car here, I feel like it would just be an extra hassle that I don't need because like I said, I can walk to get everything that I need within a few blocks. And if I want to go into the city, I walk, you know, five, six blocks up to the train and I'm on my way. If I, if, if I really, really need to go somewhere where there's not going to be access by either train, bus, or, or something like that, I could take a taxi. I could um, hire a remis service and have someone drive me there. But I haven't had to do that at all in the month that I've been here. And I've been to a lot of places. I mean, a lot. And I never had to. The only time I ever had to hire a remis service was when we were out in San Vicente trying to get from the train station to um, out to the uh, La Quinta. La Quinta de Juan y Vaparón. And, you know, that was pretty far outside of the city. That was a pretty sort of like country area. And, but around here, in like the sort of suburbs of Buenos Aires or the city of Buenos Aires, you definitely don't need that. Like, I think it would be, the only time I think I would ever need a Remy service is if I needed like a car to help me haul something. If I was moving something that was bigger than, you know, that I couldn't just like carry on my own, then I guess I would probably need something like that. But other than that, it's just buses, subway, trains, and the public transportation around here is, uh, it's like super accessible, super cheap, um, really easy to navigate. Uh, so that's been, that's been really, really nice. So we're here on the like back street. This is sort of down a little further away outside of the, or, you know, a few blocks off of the main strip. And you can tell once you get away from that, like main, um, commercial area over there, it's pretty quiet and I really like that because you know you don't I don't always want to be like living right on top of all that with you know cars speeding down the main street and people honking and people like yelling on the streets and stuff sometimes you just want to go to a place where it's a little more chill and out here when you get off into the side streets just a few blocks off um, off of the main the main streets like that it's really really chill and um, we'll walk up we're getting pretty close we're like a block away but I'll cut up one block here and we'll walk along the side streets so you can see what I'm saying because it's like really really relaxed nice and quiet and uh, the thing about this neighborhood is it's not like the nicest of neighborhoods it's not the cleanest of neighborhoods but like it's definitely not unsafe I walk around this neighborhood at night and I have and I don't feel unsafe at all um, sometimes like late at night I'll uh, I'll just go you know walk around and there's people walking around on the street with their families with their kids like they don't the locals don't seem to think that it's dangerous, and if they don't think it's dangerous, then I'm gonna follow them and think you know, that it's probably a pretty good neighborhood. So, the apartment that I've been staying in is just a few blocks from here, and uh, like I said, once you get off the uh, once you get off the main like commercial drag there, it's really quiet back here on the back streets, and I. Uh, I really enjoy that. I really enjoy like having 
a nice sort of calm place to go to after spending a day in the city especially if that day has been something that's like really hectic you know you've been packed into the train or you know going through like plaza constitucion at rush hour when it's just like a million billion people hustling every direction like trying to get you know somewhere trying to get here trying to get there it's nice to just like come back to a neighborhood like this and just just like relax so I've, I've really appreciated that and I think if there's anybody else who's ever thinking about coming to Argentina and you know you're immediately gonna start researching what neighborhood to stay in and everybody's gonna tell you oh you should stay in Palermo or you should stay in Recoleta or you know you should stay in like Montserrat or neighborhood like that I don't know not saying that those neighborhoods are bad not saying that you're not gonna enjoy yourself but I'm saying don't rule out staying somewhere out in the province away from the city because it is really easy to just hop on a train and get where you need to go it takes a little bit more time but there's something about the experience of staying out here where there's like not you know tourists you're gonna be basically the only tourist in the area um, there's something that's really nice about that and it's really really chill and I've enjoyed it quite a bit I've enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to because originally if I'm really honest I chose this neighborhood because it was affordable and because I mean it was significantly more affordable than some of the neighborhoods in the city and I was really pleasantly surprised by the experience of, of uh, just like living here for a month right I felt more in this month like I'm living in this neighborhood and not just staying in this neighborhood right I feel like if I had if I had been in Recoleta or Palermo or one of those neighborhoods that I would have felt like I was just staying there but here you know getting up every day oh, seeing the little stray cats that hang out in the lot next door and uh, I don't know I just I felt like yeah like I was living here in this neighborhood and uh, getting to meet some of the people in the neighborhood and having to be so nice and welcoming uh, was a major plus so anyway we're at the apartment and uh, uh, that's all that's all I guess I really have to say about it um, I've really enjoyed Will Day and um, when people ask me you know like I said when I when I tell them where I'm staying and they ask me like why are you staying in Will Day well that's why